I'm going to be showing now, this is the one I said I learned from um, Corey Henry in one of the classes he had for, or was it for Ali Mavi or something, music play, I think, from the, for the classes he had for music play there. So this one is going to be like this. So first chord is going to be like, it's it's like this. And it's gonna be played by this finger, this one, and this one. Your pinky and your middle finger. It's gonna hold the first note. So, and here we're gonna be using your thumb and your middle finger. For the first, that is C and E. Second is gonna be these two fingers. And here as well. So first, first is this two finger, right? First is this two finger. Second is these two fingers. So it's like this. And this second is D and F. Then the third is going to be these two fingers, middle and thumb. Then here's going to be middle and pinky. So for the, the other ones are for the ring fingers, all right? Okay, so, like I said, and the next is going to be these two, then the third is going to be your E and G, so, we'll do this for some time, so that's the finger you use for each of the chord we are going to be doing. Now we're gonna to go to minor. Remember, minor chord, as we've treated on this channel before, is just dropping the middle notes backward. So this is a minor chord, right? So we are still going to do this. So it's gonna be C and D sharp. The second chord is still gonna remain the same. But we are still using the same fingering. So then the next chord is gonna be D sharp and G. Then we're gonna come back. So this is major chord. All we are coming in is just this note to help us pass. So, major. Minor now. So, we're going to be going for diminished. Remember, we said diminished is dropping your middle and dropping your fifth. So, if this is, we'll drop the middle and drop the fifth. So, this is diminished. So we are going to do nice. We are going to play this first note, which remains the same with the minor, C and D sharp. Then the second chord is going to be D and F. Third chord is going to be D sharp and G and um, F F sharp. So it's going to be like this. So that's the third chord. So from, that's the third one. Then from this, we are going to go to augmented. So this is augmented. Augmented is just adding to a chord, right? So augmented is raising your fifth. This an augmented. So the third is going to be like this. So everything together is going to be like this. So that's that for that particular one. Now we're going to go to this one that tricks all the finger. So this one is. I'm doing this one I'm doing I'm, I'm having a rhythm to it is 
when we, it comes to separation but we are going to treat that but let's just treat for the fingers first then we're going to talk about the separation okay i learned it from a friend his name is um, sam keys he has a channel the name of the channel is sam keys that's the name of his channel you could search him all right sam keys s-e-m sammy keys i think s-e-m-y then the space you give k-e-y-z yes that's his channel so now there's d c d e d e f e f g f g So that knows you guys still same notes, okay? Fingers from here. Red, red, me, red, me, fa, me, fa, so, fa, so, red, red, me, red, me, fa, me, fa, so, fa, so. So draw all of this and make sure you do them for some time. So. Make, make sure you do them for some time. The reason I was doing this all out before is I'm trying to make a beat out of it. Now this helps you in separation. There's some people whose hand can't do two different things. So there are people who can do um, what? What can? What? Nothing is really coming to my head now. But there are people who can be doing something else on the right, on on the right, and be doing something left, left X on the left. What I played is nothing um, particular from any soft. I'm just trying to show you an example. There are people whose hand can't do the boat at the same time. So this was a kind of device to just help people for that. So. Then you now bring it to the left as well. Now this is going to be all about this tutorial. Now all of this stuff that I've just shown us is they are really going to be challenging. But when you see challenging stuff, those are the time that you know that yes, I'm really, and you can rehearse them. Those are the time you know you're actually growing. But when you see any challenging stuff and you always leave it. You see 10 minutes video, you want to watch two minutes. No, 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 you can never grow. You're just, this other guy is growing better than you because he's paying full attention to stuff. If you guys watch the same videos, actually, he picked 70%, but you picked 15%. Who is growing better? So you have to pay attention. It looks boring. Uh, sorry, it looks tiring because at a point you may become frustrated that this stuff is not coming in. But keep doing it. Keep doing it. All right. If you don't do it now, you're going to do it later and it's going to disturb you before you start doing it. So by the time it has embarrassed you, it's, it's, it won't be worth it again, you get. So learn it now. Make sure you stay with this video. I'm dishing this out for you guys. That's why I'm telling you this, all right? Uh, God will help us all. God is going to help you, and it's going to help me to also be learning and be putting out tutorials to us. But make sure you learn this. Don't just skip, don't skip this one, all right? God bless you all. See you in the next class. Subscribe, like, share, and tell a friend about the channel.